Hey guys, welcome to today's tutorial. And today we're going to go over how to create PHP classes and methods, which are the foundation of writing object-oriented PHP. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new PHP file. And we're going to name this, first we're going to create a new folder. And we're going to call the file car.php. So capital C car.php. Capitals are just be best practices when you're creating new classes. So inside the file, we're going to say class capital C car and parentheses. And we're going to define our first property. And we're going to say public type is equal to Ferrari. So we just created a class with the default uh, type property of Ferrari. In order to access this new created variable, let's create a new PHP page. So open up a new file. And we're going to save this one as car underscore info dot php. And here we're going to first include the class file we just created. And we're going to do that by saying require underscore once car dot php. And the reason why I'm using require once is because if you define a class uh, two or more times, it basically gives an error, so we just want to avoid that unnecessary mistake and always require once for the class file. And in this file, we're going to create a new variable called a car, which is going to be linked to the class we just created. So new car brackets, and the dollar sign car is basically going to be our car, our, our class here. So display the type property and to do that we type in echo car and then arrows and then the property variable or the variable name. And if we go back to our page and we type in our new file name or location we have Ferrari. Now if we go back to our car.php page and we change this from public to protected and we go back to our page and refresh it, it's going to give a fatal error and cannot access protected property. And the reason why it's doing that is because um, protected basically means this variable can only be accessed via methods uh, predefined inside the class car. And the reason why you might want to do this is you want to keep the integrity of your uh, data that's stored in your classes and um, only manipulate the data in very organized, predefined ways. So we're going to create a method called or define method and then we're going to call it get car type. And so a method is basically a function inside a class and of course you want the actual method to be accessible from outside the class so we're going to define it as public and inside this new method called get car type all it's going to do is return the variable stored in the variable type so if you go back to our car underscore info dot php page instead of calling this directly which we can no longer do we're going to insert the method name we just created so get car type brackets and if we go back to our browser refresh the browser and there you go we have Ferrari yet again 
Now let's say we want to change the variable contained inside the property type of car. Then in order to do that, we have to create another method that's going to be public. So public function then set car type. In this one, we're going to basically say that um, the variable type is now going to equal to the new variable, new car type. And that's going to be retrieved from the actual function, so new car type. And if we go back to our car underscore info dot php page, I'm just going to create a break tag here just to organize things a little bit. And now we're going to change the car type. So car, arrow, and then the new function we just created, set car type, brackets, and let's call this limousine. And now if we actually echo the new car type, and we go back to our browser, and refresh the page, we will have limousine. So that's the basics of writing object-oriented PHP. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial and uh, see you guys next time.